The company building this massive gigafactory in the US says it will overtake CATL and become the world's largest battery manufacturer. It says this will happen for a few reasons. One of the reasons is it claims it has better battery technology than CATL. It also says it has way more back orders, way more future orders than CATL. Who are those orders coming from? Companies like Ford, GM, even Toyota to some degree, Honda, Volkswagen, and Stellantis. And now it says one of the ways it plans to become the world's largest battery manufacturer is by building more lithium iron phosphate battery factories around the world, including starting in the United States of America. In 2021, lithium batteries exploded. Their production was more than double the previous year. One battery type in 2021 increased in popularity at an incredible rate, a rate that absolutely no one predicted. Well, except the electric Viking. No, seriously, I'm sure there were other people besides me that predicted it. But of course, I have said now for a long time that lithium ion phosphate batteries are the future of not only energy storage, but also of the car industry. Yes, there's another battery chemistry, which I talked about in a recent video, which is also going to be a big part of the future. But LFP chemistry batteries right now are only manufactured in China, except in small amounts. However, they're now coming to the US in a very big way through one of the world's largest battery companies, LG Chem. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. On the Electric Viking, great to see you. Welcome to all the new subscribers and welcome back, everyone else. Right now, China manufactures most of the world's batteries and that's not really about to change anytime soon. We might like to believe that it is because we live in the West, most of us. But the reality is China is ramping up their production of lithium iron phosphate batteries at an incredible rate. Why? Well, people want them. They're cheap. They're affordable for the actual amount of batteries you get. You can get cars for what? Five, six thousand US dollars that will do 300 kilometers of range using lithium iron phosphate batteries. And one big benefit, they last a lot longer, three to four times as many charging cycles. In other words, three to four times the life of lithium ternary batteries, meaning NCA, NCM chemistry batteries. However, LG Chem's LG Energy Solutions is expanding its battery factory in the US, and it's going to be building lithium iron phosphate batteries at that factory. It says for two reasons, they're gaining popularity and they're much more cost effective. There were rumors about lithium iron phosphate batteries being manufactured in the US all the way back in 2021. These were confirmed by LG Energy Solutions or LG Chems IPO. Recently, George Jurgens, LGES Director of Energy Storage Systems has revealed at the Smarter E event in Munich, Germany, that lithium iron phosphate chemistry will join the current battery production at LG Chem's factory. Now, right now, LG Chem are only making NMC, nickel manganese cobalt batteries. However, clearly, now that the patents for lithium iron phosphate batteries have expired, those patents were for China, that means that LFP batteries can be built anywhere in the world. Now, LG Chem and other battery manufacturers have said they plan on manufacturing lithium iron phosphate batteries in the future. And they're starting to put in place the ability for them to produce those battery types. But it takes some time. Unless, of course, you're in China where things just seem to happen overnight. It's crazy how fast battery factories are ramped up in China. Now, one of the most interesting things happening right now in the battery world is that the upcoming two LFP battery cell types are going to be produced at LG Energy Solutions factory in Holland, Michigan, 
which in March was approved for a 1.7 billion US dollar expansion. Clearly, LG Chem believes in what? Battery production in the US. Very interesting to see their belief that Americans want electric cars. Not only do they think Americans want electric cars, here's the important fact, right? They're also very much aware of the reality that US companies, US businesses, and US citizens want energy storage products, right? Look how much demand there is for Tesla's battery packs, which are, to be honest, quite expensive, to be fair, in comparison to similar products from Chinese companies. But clearly, right, clearly the future of energy storage is LFP. And further on in the line, it'll be sodium batteries and other types of storage as well. But for the next five years, LFP battery storage is the way that the market is going. And the US is going to play a huge part in this. According to PV Magazine, Two new types of cells will be produced in the same format and size as the current cells for easy use in the same modules and packs as before, which suggests that these, both of these two new types of cells that LG Chem are going to be making are pouch cells instead of prismatic cells as are usually used with lithium ion phosphate batteries. The two LFP cells in the pipeline will enter the market in 2023 and 2024. These two cells are this. The first, a standard size cell. Production will begin next year in October of 2023. A long size cell, production begins in Q4 of 2024. Now, I'm hoping, right, if LG Chem, realistically, if they're aware of what's going on in the market right now, and they have to be, they would be aware of what is happening with energy density in lithium ion phosphate batteries. Energy density has been an issue. The reason, right, that we don't see lithium ion phosphate battery cells being used, well, the main reason in a lot of different cars in the West is because the energy density used to be low. Energy density has improved, still not enough to be anywhere near where we're at with ternary batteries or with the batteries used in most brands in the US electric cars, right? But by the end of this year, the battery technology being worked on right now will become mass commercially scaled and available. That technology is coming from CATL, the world's largest lithium ion phosphate battery producer, CALB, one of the fastest growing lithium ion phosphate producers in the world, and Goshon High Tech, a company which is owned one third by Volkswagen. And Goshon High Tech, CALB, and CATL all say the energy density of their batteries will almost double by the end of this year, meaning that it will no longer really be an advantage at all to use lithium ternary batteries, which is the main chemistry used by most of the industry outside of China, most of the industry, not in China, right? So LG Chem with these new cells must be aware the energy density in these packs will have to significantly improve over what's available today. I'm guessing LG Chem is very much aware of that fact and have probably worked on massively improving the energy density of lithium ion phosphate batteries as well. So I think the most likely scenario is when these batteries arrive in late 2023 and the long cell version in late 2024, they're going to have energy density at the cell level of close to 230 to 240 watts per kilo because they will have to to be competitive. What will that mean? If LG Chem uses these batteries in electric cars in the US, I recommend you definitely consider buying one because the advantages over the battery types offered by other companies will be massive. You may not be aware of those when you first drive your car. When you've had it for a few years, you've used it on fast charges for a few years, you're going to start seeing a huge benefit to these lithium ion phosphate batteries. There's a chance that the long size cells will be used in electric vehicles, but there's no confirmation yet. You're probably not going to see these LFP battery cells being used in 2023, in cars, in electric cars, you're probably going to see them towards the end of 2024. Assuming that the existing plant in Holland, Michigan, has a manufacturing capacity right now of 5 gigawatt hours annually, this expansion is said to be a five-fold increase. That would mean that the factory in Holland, Michigan, will go from producing 5 gigawatt hours per year to 25 gigawatt hours per year by the end of 2024. Of that 25 gigawatt hours, 20 gigawatt hours 
will be LFP. Clearly, this factory is just essentially a big battery factory for LFP batteries. You can see here, LG Chem, what do they think the future of batteries is? They think it's what I've been saying. Why else would they be investing billions of dollars in a factory in the US, right? If they didn't believe that chemistry was the chemistry of the future. Jürgen said, the new battery cells will be made in Holland in the US state of Michigan with double digit gigawatt scale production lines being added to the facility. According to Business Korea, LG Energy Solutions and other South Korean manufacturers are also looking for a different cobalt free battery called the LNMO. This is a battery chemistry that Tesla is looking to utilize and will be in Tesla vehicles next year. I guarantee it. Tesla, in fact, is very much aware of the significant advantages that LNMO cobalt free batteries have over even lithium ion phosphate. Prices of LNMO batteries versus lithium ion phosphate will be very, very similar. Why? LNMO batteries need far less lithium. That's a big advantage of them. In addition, those batteries don't use cobalt. High proportions of manganese can replace the cobalt. And Tesla's been talking about these batteries for a while now. And thanks to these advantages and changes in chemistry, these new cells will be less expensive, far less expensive. However, for many companies, a lot of development work still needs to be done to make these batteries viable. However, there are a few different battery companies, including one in the United States, which has successfully mass produced, well, at a level that's required for prototyping, LNMO battery chemistry. And if you want to see my video about LNMO batteries and the advantages that they have, I'll put a link in the description below. It's about Tesla and how Tesla will use these batteries to have a big advantage over other automakers in the industry. Personally, I'm just excited to see this battery gigafactory in the United States. The United States needs more gigafactories. It needs a lot more gigafactories. It doesn't just need this one. It needs at least another 20. Why? Because otherwise, manufacturing is just going to move from the US to China. And that's okay to some degree. But if we lose all of our manufacturing capacity in the US and in the West, that's not a good thing. We still need to have some control over our destiny. That's what LG Energy Solutions is doing here in the United States. I think, even though, frankly, LG Energy Solutions is not a company that I like. Why? Because essentially they're just a huge chemical company. They are. Look it up. That sucks. But realistically, we still should support the work they're doing in the US because they are building a number of gigafactories around America. And Americans need this. Americans need EVs. And Americans need energy independence. EVs and battery technology give US consumers energy independence, especially when you combine those things with solar and wind generation, which is rapidly scaling up in the US as well. Personally, I think this is awesome. The world needs more LFP as soon as possible. Thank you for watching and let me know in the comment section below what you think. Have a great day. Bye-bye.